Hi, Lucas. Thanks for doing this. Uh, just wanted to ask how you're feeling and uh, what the last couple of weeks have been like for you. Thank you. Uh, I'm feeling good, thanks. Uh, I was uh, a little bit uh, tough and not that fun to be, be in quarantine, but but I'm finally finally out and uh, feeling good. So so I'm happy and glad to be back with the, with the team. We'll go now to Phil Thompson with the Chicago Tribune. Phil, your mic's active. Go ahead, please. Thank you, Lucas. What was the toughest part of being in quarantine and, and going through this protocol? Uh, well, it's just tough. You couldn't do anything really. Uh, just be, be stuck at home. But but it's it's uh, uh, it is what it is, and then you have to be you have to be serious with it. So so uh, yeah, you, you have to deal with it. But but. It, it's tough, and, and uh, but I was I was um, I'm happy. I didn't feel that bad. I felt good actually, and, and I know a lot of people had it worse than me. So so I'm just happy to feel good, happy to feel good and be back. Uh, so I, I take it you're, you're saying you were diagnosed. What what went through your mind um, uh, when you heard that when you first learned that? Yeah, I was. I was surprised actually because I haven't. <laughs> I have just been home and and at the ring, so I was just surprised when I I, uh, I heard uh, I had it. So uh, of course you get a little bit nervous because you don't know how how you will uh, react to it. But but uh, I just went 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 home and uh, uh, took it serious and, and quarantined for fourteen days. So. Uh, uh, I'm feeling good now, and that's that's uh, that's really good. We'll go now to Ben Pope with the Chicago Sun Times. Ben, your mic's active. Go ahead, please. Hey, Lucas, did you did you have any symptoms, or was it just pretty much just sitting there in quarantine? Uh, first couple of days, I had little symptoms, not not too bad, but but uh, I wasn't I wasn't hundred, but but little symptom uh, so but it took me maybe three days and then I'll start feeling normal and, and getting better for every day so uh, not too bad uh, and, and what was it like watching the games on TV were you able to, to learn anything from that experience yeah I mean you you always want to be be on the ice and and, uh, and you always want to have the team but uh, and we had a good run here lately, and it was fun to see see the boys playing really well out there. And, and, uh, and I think uh, we have been taking steps here lately, so uh, it was fun to see see the boys playing and, and then really uh, winning winning some big games. So, uh, but it's always more fun fun, fun to play and, and be home and watch. We'll go now to Charlie Romeliotis, NBC Sports Chicago. Charlie, your mic's active. Go ahead. Hey, Lucas, uh, you were obviously in and out of the lineup right before you went into the protocol. Um, were you able to reflect on your own yeah. game during that time and maybe what, what kind of um, nice. role that you play going forward and, and how you can improve your game? Yeah, uh, I just want to uh, play, play my game a little more out there. And I think I was uh, start getting, uh, after a couple of games there in the beginning, I was start feeling more comfortable out there. but. Uh, yeah, I just have to play my game and and, and uh, uh, work hard uh, work hard on the ice and then really yeah have fun out there and I think I'm feeling feeling more and more comfortable now and uh, uh, get to know uh, everything a little bit more. Was moving the wing a little bit of an adjustment uh, last night? I know obviously you started at center. Yeah, it, it, it was actually I'm, I'm not that used to playing a wing, but uh, uh, was it was a uh, it was a good game to get into it and, and uh, trying to uh, uh, trying to uh, be a little more uh, into it and I think uh, uh, first couple of shifts was a little bit tough but the more you, you the more shifts you had you can get more into it and, and uh, uh, it was fun to, fun to be back with, with the team again. Time for a few more. We'll go to Chris Bowden with WGN Radio. Chris, your mic's active. Go ahead. Hey, Lucas, welcome back. Just wondering, uh, conditioning-wise, how much did you, were you allowed to do anything 
those two weeks and uh, was it almost like back to square one when you returned? Yeah, uh, actually I wasn't able to do, do that much when I was quarantining. So uh, it was a little bit of a restart there when I came back and uh, I've been skating hard here uh, last couple of days before, before the, the game yesterday. So uh, it was really nice to get those, get those days uh, and uh, have some good skates there with with Boki and, and, and those guys. So it uh, uh, was tough in the beginning, uh, but it was getting better the you, you, you more uh, practices you have. Uh, we have time for two more here. We'll go to Ben Pope with the Chicago Sun-Times for a follow-up. Ben, you can go ahead. Uh, just to follow up on my earlier question about watching on TV, uh, when we talked to Nicholas Bodan, uh, who obviously missed some time on the COVID list too, he said that he learned uh, he had maybe a little bit more time and space um, from watching on TV than he realized on the ice. Did you notice that too, or did you notice anything else uh, sort of specific like that from the from the watching experience? Uh, I think he's, he he's says it good, and uh, you – you always learn when you watch. Uh, doesn't matter really exactly what you watch, but but uh, of course, uh, when you watch, when you watch, uh, uh, when I was watching the games, I, I feel like uh, you learn more with, with all with the system and everything. And uh, and uh, I think uh, and also I think we have been taking steps since uh, I was playing before. So uh, was uh, in that uh, point was good. To, to watch some games and then and learn from that and, and see what's what's open out there and then I think that's that was good for me too. We'll take uh, one more here from Axel Jeroma from NHL International. Axel, your mic is active and you can go ahead. Lucas, can you hear me? Yep. Okay, fine. Um, uh, the team ultimately uh, won all the battles in overtime, which was not the case at the early beginning of the season. What has changed from your uh, perspective? Uh, I think everyone feels more comfortable out there and know uh, a little more what, what to do and, and uh, really play more of a team game out there and, and battling hard every night. And, and uh, those OT wins have helps to get confidence in the team. And, and I think everyone is stuck with it and, and play really good here lately. So it's, it's really fun to fun to see and we just have to keep rolling. Lucas, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it.